welcome back to my video. It's Danny, nice to see you. Hope you are enjoying the summer. So today is all about uh, Goodwood. So here in the sunny south coast. So a day at the races. I'm gonna be showing you how to do uh, some pretty summer makeup if you're off to the races or if you're gonna be a wedding guest, this would work as well. So wedding guest, day at the races. This is the makeup I'm gonna be doing for you today. This is what I've done. I've been using some Stila Aqua Glow Foundation, some brand new products I've tried, Bad Gal Bang Mascara by uh, Benefit, Crush Liquid Lip by Bobby, lots of more Bobby as always, um, and the lovely Stila Eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow in Dollish. So I'm gonna show you all of these new finds today. Um, yeah, so day at the races makeup. Hope you enjoy it guys, and here it is. Hey guys, welcome back. How's it going? How's your summer going? Are you all, are you here? Are you on holiday? I haven't got any holiday plans yet. It has been a really, really crappy week. Not gonna lie, lots of things going, going on. Um, appreciate if you lovely guys would keep us in your prayers this week we've got had some pretty not nice news um but we're staying positive so yeah it's been a, a really busy week but on the upside i had a really amazing um bridal makeup at the weekend my first makeup of the year uh, for a very dear friend of mine jody and it was just like went like a dream it was just fantastic ah oh, the most beautiful bride and bridesmaids ever so if you want to go to my Instagram, it's Daniela underscore Logan underscore makeup. And you can see the post that I did for the wedding and the makeup that I used. Um, so it was a real glowy, summer, fresh, pretty look. Uh, so if you pop over to my Instagram, I hope you guys like that. Maybe I'll film a, a bridal look on that if you, if you like it enough. Okay, so today I'm getting ready to go to the races. I'm not actually going to the races. I'm staying at home this weekend. <laughs> However, one of these years I will get to the races. Perhaps, hopefully next year. I'd I've been to Ascot in the past, and I've um, no, I don't think I've been to Goodwood. I've been to Ascot in the past. I've never been to the Grand National or Aintree, um, and even though we only live around the corner, I haven't been to Goodwood yet. So maybe next year. Hopefully next year I can actually get to the races because it's something that I really. The one time that I did go, I really really enjoyed it. I love dressing up um, in a pretty dress with a fascinator or a hat. I love that, that's so me, it's so girly. Um, and I just like how much effort everybody makes. And I've done a few makeups this year for people going to the races and I thought, hmm, I'm not going, but if I were going, what would I wear? So I actually have an outfit that I would, that I think I would wear if I was going, if I was lucky enough to go. And um, I, thought, I thought I'd do some day at the races makeup for you today so that's what we're going to be doing i'm actually going to be using a mix of drugstore and premium today i've been on a shopping trip uh for the wedding that's just gone so i had to top my kit was just so depleted from last year so i had to top up some bits and bobs still need to get to bobby and steal it and get some of my more premium things that i'm sort of missing out I'm, i definitely need to get to bobby i'm so low it's ridiculous running out of everything um but i had a really fun trip to boots and super drug and topped up on some I haven't let myself do a bit of drugstore shopping for a while, so that was a real fun experience. So um, I'm absolutely loving L'Oreal at the minute. So I tried this infallible luminizing primer um, on the on the wedding day, and it was just amazing. As is the infallible magic loose powder. So I thought I'd incorporate those today. I'm going to be trying Bad Gal Bang Mascara from uh, Benefit for the first time today, which is very exciting because I've heard lots of good things about it. And I'm going to be using my ever favourite, my new favourite foundation, which is the Aqua Glow Serum Foundation from Stila. And I've just heard that they're retiring this. Stila, no, bring it back. This is the most amazing foundation. And I'm at the age of 36. I've only just found it. You mustn't take this away from me, please. So I've stocked up a little bit because they've had a sale on. So I've got one for now anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use some bits and bobs, uh, add in the Ulla Johnson palette from Bobby for my cheeks, and the most exciting bit, new makeup arrived on my doorstep this morning. <coughs> you guys know how much I'm loving Stila at the moment, and I'm absolutely obsessed with their glittering glow, shimmering glow, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadows. If you haven't tried them, you need to. They are long wear so much pigment for colour and glitter and they it doesn't drop it doesn't 
fall off like a lot of them will end up on your cheek it's amazing so perfect for prom perfect for weddings bridal uh, balls doing a lot of military balls at the minute um, so yeah so I've got this set is called iridescent and it comes with dollish which is a pink stylish which is a goldy and embellish which is like a rosy gold so perfect for this time of year so I'm gonna be using dollish today uh, what does it say about that so dollish yeah dollish is a pinky pinky tony pinky glittery one it's, they're just amazing they're amazing right should we get cracking okay so skincare as always I started with a bit of bobby brown hydrating face and eye cream and I've added in a bit of the vitamin and rich face face base as my as a starting primer and I also patted in a little bit of Clarins uh, Beauty Flash Balm just to give me a little bit more hydration today because I'm feeling a little bit dry in this this heat and weather I'll have to get my eyebrows waxed later I'm so excited okay so if you're in the Hampshire area you need to google eyes on eyes on you in Fairham uh, Marie is amazing. Eyes on you and Ferrum yet for HD brows and waxing. She's just like the brow goddess, babe. Hopefully going to do something with these brows of mine. Okay, so let's get started. Right, so first things first, I'm going to prime and I'm going to be using Infallible Luminizing Primer. So this is like um, a creamy colour. This is a pinky tone illuminating primer. Um, I think there was a golden tone one as well, so I'm just going to take that all over. And it feels so silky, it's lovely. So what I'm going to be doing is basically like nothing too intense today. I don't want to do a really dramatic makeup because for the races I feel like I'd want to look really pretty and just very, yeah, just simple and easy summer makeup that's full of glow really just looks just really super pretty been really loving seeing everybody's prom pictures okay so I've just taken that all over it does feel a little bit greasy I wonder if that's maybe if I should have shaken it oh no it's blending in I suppose I'm not used to using an extra primer usually, I usually just stick to my bobby. That's really nice, that's a nice glow already there, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. I'll quite happily go out like that most days actually. Ooh, very nice, quite impressed with that. Right, moving on, I'm going to use my base, ah, which I've just tracked all over the table. Excuse me. Aqua Glow Serum Foundation in the colour Fair Light. On a Real Technique sponge, a new one. They're just the best, I love them. So it's just a little dropper, so I'm just going to pop that on there. And just apply it to everywhere and blend. You need to try this foundation before they get rid of it. It's seriously amazing. Especially for summer, it is so lightweight, but such a buildable coverage, which is kind of perfect what you want for summer. So there we go, so I've got my base. Next I'm going to apply a little bit of um, corrector from Bobbi Brown. So as always I'm probably today going to go with uh, Light Peach. Just take that just underneath there. This is just going to correct those dark circles which definitely need after this week. It's been night of not much sleep but let's just say that much that's taking care of the dark circles next like I say I want this to be really fresh and pretty so we're going for a really dewy look as well next I'm going to use true match uh, 
Perfect Match Concealer from L'Oreal. Okay, and that is in the colour 1R slash C, Ivory Rose, Rose Ivory, Rose Ivory. I've not tried this before. It's fun trying new things. I think like everybody you get into a bit of a rut, so it's good for me to try some new things. Gonna take it where I need it. Blend again. What I will say about that concealer, um, so concealer done, what I will say about that concealer is, I really like it, it's very brightening for underneath the eyes, um, don't know if it's going to be great for concealing blemishes, so that's the only thing about that, so I'm just going to pop on a bit of uh, Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer, just under the eyes, just because I feel like I need a little bit more today. Just where things have been, where I've not been sleeping. So that's much better, much brighter now. Okay. Um, next I'm going to use some primer for my eyelids for, to put the um, steeler on top of. So I'm going to be using some Stay Don't Stray primer from Benefit. Crazy news this week, have you guys noticed that um, Lisa Potter Dixon announced that she's left Benefit <gasps> after 11 years? She's like one of my makeup heroes, I mean like seriously MUA goals, she is just, her talent is amazing and her personality is just so bubbly so much fun i just there's people driving past having a look hi you're on youtube um i think her personality is just amazing so i don't know what she's gonna i think she's going to do freelance so lisa if you're watching thanks for all the inspiration over the years can't wait to see what you do next uh go get them girl you're a fab love you to bits Mwah. okay so let's pop that primer on from benefit just on the lids and blend that in. Next, to set my makeup, I'm going to be using Infallible Magic Loose Powder. That's translucent. It's very, very white, so just be aware of that. And I'm going to use a Real Technique bronzer brush for that. We sounded a bit West Country there, didn't I? For that. It's very, very bluey white, so just be careful. It did say translucent, so it's fun trying things for the first time. I've really got to get out of my habit of using the same things, so it's good to try something new, so shoot me. Okay, so I'm just going to, whilst I want it to be a glowy look, I don't want to look like I'm, you know, glowing with sweat or oil as it's such hot days at the minute. So I'm just going to take a little bit, as you can see I'm just patting it in, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the, the shine off especially in the T-zone. There we go, still got the glow, just without all of the shine. Okay, next I'm going to do a little bit of contouring and I'm going to be using ELF, or ELF, uh, Cream Contour Palette, which I'm obsessed with at the minute. Such good value for money and a really amazing cream contour palette. Just recently discovered this brush from Real Techniques and this is a, I can't see the writing very well square foundation brush I never use the right brushes for things but I personally because it's such a blunt square end that's quite a nice angle for contour so I'm going to do that now so I'm going to be taking this light colour just across the cheeks 
down the bridge of the nose and into the eye. Okay. And blend, blend, blend. <laughs> is a really nice bronze look really natural though nothing too heavy or too contoured which is, is definitely me okay moving on probably do a bit of blush um, so I'm going to be using the Ulla Johnson cheek palette uh, in Esme from Bobbi Brown so it's Ulla Johnson with Esme uh, Ulla Johnson with Bobbi Brown which they did for Fashion Week a little while ago so you get the lovely cream blush which is the Pot Rouge in um, pink flush and white opal uh, cream glow highlighter. So I'm going to use a Real Technique stick, stippling brush and I'm going to use the cream blush pot rouge. Small amount on the brush and I'm just going to pat that in. You want to start more on the apple Using so you're pushing it in with the brush and then you circles just to blend. This went down a storm at the weddings this weekend. It gives such a pretty flush, it's perfect. Next I'm going to use a highlighter. So I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown's Sunrise Glow, which is so pretty. Beautiful and pink, really goes with the eyeshadow that we're going to use. And I'm going to use a contour brush as always from Real Techniques. I'm just going to take the highlighter and just sweep that all across. Now remember this is a quick and easy look so I'm not making it too complicated with too many products at all. Just under the brow and just down the nose. And just put as much highlight on as you want really. You know me, I like a lot, a lot of highlight. So that's the blush and the highlighter done. Really fresh, really pretty, lots of glow, uh, but still quite natural and very summery. Next I'm going to do brows and I'm going to be using, keeping it simple again, going to be using Gimme Brow from Benefit in uh, number 5 shade. Just going to run that through the brows. Backwards and forwards. And then through the tail. brows done so just added a little bit of powder from Tanya Bear's Perfect Brows palette again what we're gonna do when this runs out to find something new Alexa's being spooky Alexa mute Okay, so next we're going to go in with the eyeshadow and I'm going to be using Steeler's Eyes Are The Window Shadow Palette in uh, Spirit. Just so in love with this company at the minute and one that I use all the time is Kitten, just as my highlighter under my brow. I'm just going to use um, an eye sweep brush from Bobbi. I'm going to take an ivory in uh, chinois. Look like chinos to me, but you know, I think it's chinois. Just take that just underneath the brows into the middle section. I'm just going to take a little bit onto the lids just as a nice base. I 
Okay, here is the best thing ever. Yay! So it's Stila. Uh, Glitter and Glow in Dollish. And it is a, oh, hard to describe, peachy, pinky, rose goldy, flecks of diamond dust, goldness, glitter, pot of pure joy for summer, proms, weddings, perfect. Uh, it's a liquid eyeshadow. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm just going to apply it just on the lids. I think I found my new favourite colour for the summer. Oh my goodness. And it, do you know what? For somebody that struggled, when I first started, I struggled so much with applying eyeshadow. Because it's not easy. It te definitely takes technique and time to learn. But that is so easy. You don't have to worry about droppage or brushes. Quick and easy. Perfect. And it's so pretty. Woo! Next, I'm going to use this same Eyes of the Window Shadow Palette in Spirit from Stila, and I'm going to be using this colour here, which is called Oasis. So, I'm just going to be taking that just into the crease. Don't want too heavy a look, so nice and light, and just buff it up a little bit. Just giving the eye a little bit of definition here. is amazing just keeping it nice and simple and pretty today that eyeshadow speaks for itself so pretty ah just sparkly beautiful pretty pinkness glitter joy pure joy in love with Stila glitter and glow oh my god so amazing if you haven't tried it yet you need to okay moving on to the rest of the eyes I'm going to be using Stila's stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner in uh, intense black. Okay, so I'm just going to take that across the top line, right up to the lash line. I just add a very small flick. Next, I'm going to finish with some mascara, and I'm going to try something brand new, which, again, another exciting find. Uh, yeah, I know I'm a bit late to the party, but benefit bad gal bang. Um, so I got these in boots, and I got a few of their um, mini sizes. So I got a couple of uh, gimme brows for my kit, a couple of goof-proof brows, and this mascara, because one of my clients actually recommended it to me and wants me to use it on them. 
wants me to use it for them for an event in the future so I thought well I better try it first before I add it to my kit and get the full size version um, so these were the little minis and I think it was like three for £27 or something like that which is really amazing so I love that little scenario and that little setup in boots for benefit okay uh, and it's nice actually because I got to go to the Whiteley boots uh, benefit counter which is where I used to work as a Christmas temp a long time ago still love the company still love benefit they're just amazing aren't they I just wish they would come out with a few more things okay so it's a very benefity type brush so it's plastic wand not usually my faves but actually one of my favorite mascaras was roller lash so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt as it's been recommended so here we go benefit bad gal bang Mascara done. Okay, so first impressions of Bad Girl Bang Mascara from Benefit. Um, not sure. I actually think I like it, and I think I will like it more. I think I need a bit more practice. You know how some mascaras, it, you need a different technique, things like that. It's very wet to the one I've been using. It's quite a wet mascara. So it promises bigger, badder, volumizing mascara, mas lashes, mascara. Um, there's no doubt about it. It's definitely given, lived up to that promise. It definitely gives super lashes and lots and lots of volume. Very, very pretty shape. Um, quite intense, but you have to work quickly. I found that it was clumping slightly if I didn't move the wand quick enough. I think I would have preferred, and I'm not still not sure on these types of wands, mascara wands. Not sure at getting it separated. Um, but... L certainly long luscious lots of volume lashes so I guess it's given it's done what it promised I'm just getting I need to get used to it really but I do think that I, I will like it and so many clients said that they like it so I'm going to keep giving it a go but I really like their roller lash mascara um yeah so quite impressed with that and it's, it's definitely lifted the lashes and given a nice eye look so yeah bad girl bang Woo, something new definitely liking that yeah I think it's it's growing on me yeah <laughs> I'm such a stickler for my usual products, it's so funny. Okay, next I'm going to do lips, and I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown's Crushed Liquid Lip Colour in Mango Mood. So I want a really bright lip for this, and it will hopefully complement the pinkiness on the eyes. Love this applicator. So this is a bright, bright colour, perfect for summer, lovely for holidays. So it's basically a gloss and a lipstick in one a gloss a balm and a lipstick in one I like that so much I'm not even going to use a liner. Pretty. Love, love, love that colour. I'm really happy with that. Next I'm just going to finish by using my Becca Shimmering Skin Protector uh, Pressed Powder, uh, which is a highlighter and that's an opal. Sorry, I definitely need to get some new glasses, don't I? So this is opal. Oh, it's cracked a bit. I haven't used this for a while, so I'm just going to take my um, Real Techniques contour brush. I'm gonna, just going to take my Real Techniques contour brush and just take a small amount, take it just down the nose and just across the cheeks.
next as it's a nice warm day as it would be at the races it would be a long day as well as a, a warm day so I'm just gonna set my makeup with infallible by L'Oreal fixing mist again another thing that went down a storm at the wedding at the weekend do you know what was really nice getting feedback saying you know they're a bit concerned like if you do my makeup at 9 a.m. is it gonna last till 2 30 for the ceremony is it still gonna look nice and fresh yes it will I promise you I've got a way of doing it um, what it was actually the hottest day of the year so far it was like 30 degrees nearly um, is the makeup just gonna slide off I don't want to be a shiny mess by the time I go to walk down the aisle um, and to get a message afterwards saying the makeup stayed in place and looked flawless all day I was just like yes winning at life and as a makeup artist uh, so for the bride I actually used Clinique Beyond Perfecting uh, mixed in with a little bit of Stila Aqua Glow foundation popped the infallible magic loose powder on top bit of bobbi brown powder and I set it with this beauty and no complaints at all so I'm just going to set it now with this you just got to give it a good shake And there we go, makeup done. So I'm just gonna go and find an outfit that is suitably appropriate for the races. Do I even have anything? So there we go, looking a bit more race-like. This is a lovely dress from Wallace. I would probably pop a little camisole or um, a little shrug uh, over the top if I was going to the races today. Um, but for now, this looks nice enough. So this is from Christmas actually, and this is Wallace. Love some of their stuff for, for going out bits and bobs. This lovely hat is from my brother's wedding last year, and it is from Phase 8, who I'm, I love their dresses, love the shoes, and their fascinators and hats are just the best, I think, they're amazing. So there we go, looking a bit more um, going to the races-like, should we say. Uh, a bit more lady-like, that's quite nice. If I could dress like this every day, I would just wandering around tossing around my house oh yes please I'll have another gin and tonic thanks <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish I was going to the races seriously now um, maybe next year so hopefully next year guys I'll be able to do an actual video of going to the races makeup and actually go and show you actually me actually there winning on some horses that would be amazing wouldn't it um, if you're going to the races I hope you have a wonderful time I will list all of the products that we've used uh, in the description box and if you want to pop over to my um, Instagram it's Daniela underscore Logan underscore makeup and I will pop a post on there with all of the description of all the products and things like that thanks for watching guys I've got uh, another video coming up shortly for you which will be my everyday summer makeup and a skincare video on my PM skincare so they'll be coming up shortly. Uh, it's been a hell of a week, guys. So I'm, I'm quite surprised I've even managed to get this up. But as always, you've cheered me up. You've brightened my day. And hopefully you like the look. So, Race's Makeup. Here it is, just for you. I hope you like it. Using Premium and uh, a Drugstore. So what we use, we've used some Bobbi Brown, some Steeler, some Benefit, some L'Oreal, some Estee Lauder. Uh, yeah. As always, a little bit of everything, but the main thing has to be, I'm loving the foundation, Aqua Glow Serum Foundation, Get It Before It Goes from Stila, and the Dollish uh, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow from Stila, absolutely amazing. Lipstick is um, Mango Mood from Bobbi, and that's their crushed liquid lip, and new mascara I'm trying today is the Bad Gal Bang. All in all, it makes a really pretty fresh summer look, and I'm, I'm really happy with it. Hope you like it. Uh, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see some more. So hopefully I'll get some new videos up for you in the coming week, and uh, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon. Cheerio from me guys. Uh, get yourself to the races, enjoy lots of strawberries, and... Uh, champagne at Goodwood if you're going um, just enjoy yourself have a great time uh, the the south coast Chichester and places are a beautiful part of England if you get to go so do go if you get a chance uh, if you go and have a great time if you're not going just enjoy the weekend get out in that beautiful British countryside and enjoy the weather even just sitting in your garden just get out and enjoy it but don't forget your sunscreen and I will see you soon guys take care bye the way you wanna love tonight Oh my, my Hook you with a brand new high Don't be shy I just wanna live tonight